made sweet rolls from Skyrim, and I thought they looked nice. So after Babish converted the polygons into an actual dish, I'm making the dish back into polygons. Starting off with a cylinder that has reduced polygons, I scaled and extruded it with Alt-E so it became a squat cone, shaping the cone to have a bulge like it was baked. I added some extra geometry like bevels at the corners and loop cuts. That way, when the subsurf modifier is applied, it still retains its shape. I activated proportional editing with O and started roughening out the bun by randomly pulling the edges up and down. Even with modern tools, perfectly round buns don't exist. The second layer of roughening comes after applying the subsurf modifier with sculpt mode, using the draw, flatten, scrape, and smooth brushes to add extra detail. The frosting is a very simple hard surface model. Duplicate the top layer of the bun with Ctrl D and separate it by selection with P. Subdivide and apply solidify modifier and make sure it is applied before the subsurf modifier or you'll have lighting issues. Within the modifier, there are two settings that should be dragged to the right. The offset, which will make the generated geometry form outwards, and the inner crease so it sits flat. Obviously, the frosting needs to drip down the sides of the bun, so I selected everything except the edge and hit it with H, and began modeling, extruding drops and adding loop cuts to make sure the model doesn't clip. The subsurf modifier can be used to round out the extruding drops. Two major tips when modeling the frosting are 1. To make the bottom the thickest because gravity pulls the liquid down, and 2. To merge nearby drips. One cell thick drops everywhere is not realistic. Back to sculpting mode, the surface of frosting is uneven, so I roughened up the area with the draw brush. I also made the bottoms of the drips slightly thicker. At this point, I realized that I did not model the inside of the hole, so I used the grab tool to pull the frosting down and proportional editing to make sure it doesn't clip. The model's now done, onto the texturing. Open a new material slot and open up the shader editor, or using nodes. It's important to note that I'm using the Node Wrangler add-on, using Control shift left click to use Emission Viewer, which lets me see what every texture looks like individually. My first attempt at texturing the bun was with a really high-scaled noise texture, but it looked like drywall. The bun has two properties, the first that the bottom is the lighter color than the top, and the second is the bread texture. So I created a new texture with two segments. The color segment is created with an object texture coordinate node, which generates plugins with a separate XYZ node, and the Z node is plugged into a mixed node. The second node is connected to a multiplied noise texture. We can use a color wrap to determine how sharp the change is. I use three nodes because there's a visible band on the roll. My first bump mat was based on bread crust with a large noise texture. Shortly after doing this, I looked back at the Binging with Babbage video and saw that the sweet rolls are full of holes like a cake or brownie. So I created a new texture with a Voronoi texture scaled down with a color ramp to make the big holes and adding a high scale noise texture for the smaller holes. Now the frosting is white and shiny so I turned to specularity. The noise texture I added was practically invisible. Still, frosting is slightly translucent so I mixed the BSDF shader with the translucent shader. And here is the finished sweet roll. There are some problems, the bun still looks too perfect, and the environment was badly made, but I still think it's a pretty nice sweet roll.